fifth dimension, beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the Twilight Zone. You guys like Firefly guitars. I like Firefly guitars. So what do you say we unbox one today? Let's check out this hopefully cool new Firefly guitar. And I don't think that there is another one of these particular models in this configuration um, on YouTube yet. So it might be a first. If I'm wrong, correct me below. And if you guys could hit that like button, share and subscribe, help my algorithm out a little bit. And if you have any questions, comments, or things you'd like to see on this channel, just let me know below. Without any further ado, here's that unboxing. Thanks guys. Hello and welcome to Fulton Street Beats. As you can see, we are in the Fulton Street Beats kitchen again today. It's just easier to unbox in here. We've got more room to move around. And as you can see, we have another guitar, and that is right, if you see the JSN logo, this is a Firefly from Guitars Garden. And um, I'm excited to see this. Hopefully nothing's damaged. It doesn't look like the box is damaged at all, um, except for maybe a corner or an edge. But it's always scary when you're, exciting and scary when you're diving into a box. But let's, with no further ado, let's unbox this. And um, see exactly what uh, is in here. Now this, this my, my last Firefly came in a couple boxes. This one only came in one. But this is um, something I've been waiting for. Now, before I pull this out, I hope it's what I want it to be, or what it's supposed to be. I decided I was going to live on the edge a little bit and go with a color that I know normally wouldn't go with because I haven't seen one yet in this color. So, and I'll tell you right now, just the uh, even through the foam, I'm kind of glad I did it. This is a uh, this is going to be a cool guitar. Okay, so of course we got our cable. Anything in here with the cable, there should be a little plastic knob in there. And I'm going to pull that out because we all know what that's for. A lot, guys, a lot of you throw, toss these cables to the side. Make sure you don't because you have your cap to your switch in here. So um, always remember that so you don't lose it. Now let's pull this thing out. Are you ready? So... This guitar caught my eye because of the color for one. And then when I saw the color of the hardware, yes, it is yellow. Bright yellow, what I like to call Corvette yellow. And man, is it bright. Man, does it pop. This is, I mean, this is bright, guys. Gold tuners, very nice. Of course, they're all serial numbered. These have unique serial numbers on the back of these ones, which is really cool. And, um, oh, wow. Okay, so guys, these new SGs have the newer style frets, and we'll talk about that in a second. I wasn't sure it was gonna, because I heard it's hit or miss. So this is obviously a newer one. And look at this, this is the three pickup version. We're going to go over this pretty good. I'm going to make sure this guitar, this particular one, I got really for me. Not for the channel, but for me. So I'm going to go over this a little bit more than I normally would. But we have beautiful gold hardware. I don't see any pits or imperfections on the tailpiece. Beautiful witch hat knobs. These knobs are really extraordinary. So we're gonna get some close-up shots of this for you too. Okay, they've already taken the plastic off the pick guard. I think, nope, nope, they haven't. Okay, nope, they haven't. I take it, there's, it must have been a layer taken off and there's still one on it. Everything's covered in plastic, but these frets, 
You don't need to worry about sharp frets anymore on a Firefly if you get a newer one because they're all rounded over and they do that in the way they put them together now. So there's no going, oh, it's got sharp frets. You, you, it's impossible to have a sharp fret now. They're, they're bald, like a bald end. And they are smooth, they are polished, and it looks like it has a rosewood fretboard. The body is mahogany. And it's simply stunning. What a stunning guitar, I can't wait. I know it's gonna be prone to fingerprints. Let's get our knob on there, and I'm probably gonna end up putting a white knob on here. Very, very cool. And then of course it says Elite, and you'll notice on the newer Fireflies now, they actually have the tuners on the F, which is really cool, the tuner holes. The inlay is a mother of pearl inlay, really nice. Super smooth cut nut. The strings look like they're proper. The action, man. There doesn't appear to be any fret buzz, and this action is low. I'm really excited, guys. So let me uh, let me change camera angles, and we'll get up a little bit closer and check this out. Um, if I'm not talking much, it's because I'm really, you know, just checking this out. And it's even close to being in tune. Not quite, but it's close to being in tune. I'm taking it that this thing has been quality control inspected pretty well. I'm looking for any blemishes. Some dust on it. I could see on the front one small imperfection that we will... I mean, you got to be in a certain angle of light to see it. Very, very nicely done. Let's change camera angles and dive in a little bit deeper. And there we are. Stunning, right guys? Let me get you closer here. We're gonna get you a nice, keep in mind, it is dusty. But look at this remarkable finish. So the spot that I'm talking about, and if I can see it, is in this area right here. There's just a small, and the camera's not gonna pick it up. It's too small to see. And honestly, I got some Gibsons that have way worse, and I'm not putting down Gibson, I'm just saying. You can get imperfections on anything, and I am nitpicking the shit out of it right now. Um, what's nice about these strap buttons, too, is they're the wide, flat ones where they work well with a rubber strap lock. Um, the paint where Firefly usually had the imperfections where they meet the neck joint here is spot on on this one. I'll get you close. I mean, absolutely stunning, and that's what I'm talking about. These are these frets are literally bald on the end and rounded right up. And look at that. I don't know if you can see this action. Look at this action. Nice. I like a low action, and it's gorgeous. Looks like gorgeous-looking pickup covers the bridge. Looks to be of quality. It looks like a. It looks different than came on the 338 as far as quality goes. It looks like the plating is is superior. And look at these knobs. It doesn't look like they skimped on anything on this guitar. And here is our headstock. And uh, I get you to see the pearl in that. Very nice pearl. And here is our tuners. And it does have the protection on the back. And there's not a pit on any of these tuners that I see either, which is very unusual. So it looks like the quality control has greatly improved. And it seems like it's getting better and better all the time. I'm going to look at the back of the neck carefully. And I see no imperfections, nothing that's visible to the eye. So this guitar is very close to perfect in the cosmetic department and apparently set up too, but when we plug it in, we'll know a little better. But let's pull off the back cavity cover and see what we have in there for pots because I know a lot of people are curious about that. And they did use the gold screws on the back also, which is, which is a nice touch. 
There we are. Oh, I guess it's not too tight. There we are. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. We have shielding paint and full-size pots. Full-size pots. Um, let me get you in there closer, if I can, so you can see exactly what we're working with here. And there you go. Now, they didn't do the greatest of job putting the shielding paint in. Of course, we do have our compound in here. That's just, you know, nature of the beast. But wiring is all decent and full-size pots. So that's a nice thing to see. And um, maybe I'll get in there and do a little better shielding. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see how it plays. But uh, I'm impressed so far. So what I'm noticing right away when I'm looking in here is their grounding wire that they use is actually a solid piece of copper. And um, so they're no joke with the grounding on this for sure. And everything's got really, the solders on these, they, I mean, they're soldered well. Nothing is going to move on this thing. So that's a good thing. Okay, so we're going to put this cover back on. And if you have noticed, I cleaned out some of this, tried to, some of this compound in here. I'll do a better job in a little bit, but there we have it. And there we are. So, and for those of you who don't know, well, this one has plastic on each side, so we're going to take that off. There we are. And there we are. Put that back on. There we go. Okay. We'll get our screws back in. Okay, so now we're going to do the satisfying part, and we are going to peel off the plastic. And I know a lot of people don't even peel off the plastic, but I have to because I like pretty. There we are. Of course, we always have to loosen these screws up, which I'm not going to do right now. But it reveals a beautifully cut, the single ply pit guard. It's all one piece. Um, and from what I can tell, these pit guards in this shape, as far as buying one, are very hard to come by. So I might have to have one custom made because I want a, a pearl, a white pearl. That's what I'm going to go for. And man, yeah, the pick the hum, the humbucker covers, the gold are very, very nice. With no pitting or blemishes, which is always a good thing. Isn't that gorgeous? What a remarkably beautiful guitar. Okay, let me get you some close-up shots of this, and then in our next video we will play it a little bit, and I can tell you my real thoughts after we actually strum the strings. Stay right there, and I'll get you some close-ups. Okay, here we go. Let's check her out nice and close. And again, anything that you see, there's a lot, there's some smudges on here, but really nice plating on everything. And this is what I'm getting at with these frets. Look at these frets. I don't believe we can get it. You see that? So they must have new some kind of new technique of doing these because these are actually bald on the almost bald on the end and their inlays and the neck are very very nice and we'll move up to the headstock there's our truss rod cover a little dust there and there's a nice mother of pearl inlay and firefly you see the translucence in the firefly more than i have in some of my other ones you can see that right again Translucence. There we are. Now we'll go down to these. I pay attention to things like this, like the quality of the knobs. These are very, very nice. And the switch, man, they turn nice too. Nothing gritty. They feel like a pot should feel. And there is our buttons. Now, if you see, like, I just noticed when the camera, it looked like it was, like, rough on the edge here. That's just a light reflection, guys. It's actually very beautiful around the edges. I mean, extremely beautiful. Got some smudges on it. 
and then we'll go here, go around the other side. Again, that fret work. Beautiful. Now, it might not be everybody's flavor, for sure, being bright yellow, but I wanted to think outside of the box this time because I'm so, I always go so traditional or with a wood look or what have you. This time, no. This time we went with something that really pops. And there you are. I mean, the paint on this thing is just wow. And again, tuners. Very nice, no pitting. A little smudgy, and the stickers are still on. Very cool, guys. So let's get this thing plugged in. Next episode, you come back. We'll have it all. Uh, we'll have it all ready and uh, plugged in, and we'll check the sound out. So I hope you'll hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. And the next time I see you, we will be back in the studio. Thanks, guys.